This guy is in a sticky situation and that chain is literally the least of his problems. His name is Sun Hu and for most of his life he was playing chain together in real time but now he's all grown up. He got rescued by an anime watching family filled with 10 out of 10s including the mom named Shinny, who is a famous actress. Meanwhile, the oldest sister is a young golf prodigy named Soyoung that went pro back during her high school days and she do be packing. Then we got the youngest in the fam jam, Miso, probably named after Miso Soup because that slaps and this one looks like they got the largest badonkadonks around. You might be thinking what's the problem, but in reality, this dude is the biggest sussy backa you will ever get to know since he is probably from good old Alabama. Anyways, bro got caught coming out of Shingy's room one day super late at night looking very nefarious so Soyeon confronted him claiming she saw everything. Literally a few seconds prior to this, Sun Hu forgot to lock the door behind him before he performed his forbidden jutsu, so he thinks it's all over for him now. As our boy is kept more speechless than that one famous rapper that rhymes with Liddy, Soyeon lays down the wall and informs him that he ate scooby doos so he is not going to get away with what he did to Shinhe. But before things escalated even more, we get transported back in time before this menace even became the man he is today, a man you would call the biggest susty baka ever. Regardless, on this fateful day, we learn that Misov has always been lounging around in clothes totally not acceptable for public viewing even for someone adopted like Sunhu, since he kept urging her to place more armor on so he can protect his eyes. However, every single time his request is denied and ignored, plus to make matters worse for our boy, Miso keeps ordering him to do sussy things no other normal brother should do like massaging them in very suspect positions. But since bro does not go out anymore ever since he got rescued, he obliges with her demands as this is the least he can do for the family that took him in and treated him like an absolute king all his life. Nonetheless, Sun Hu finds himself blushing a little bit after seeing Miso's fresh bakeries in front of him as they accidentally keep hanging out since the building holding them in could not stop them due to their overly large donut shape sizes. So as he keeps trudging along like a true soldier with Miso already asleep, he suddenly gets ganked by Soyang, asking him what the heck he is doing so she confronts him like some kind of girl boss, while our boy looks like he got caught lacking. As such, Sun Hu tries his best to make up excuses on why he was staring at the donut factory in front of him. But Soyoung is having none of it, so she began looking at our boy with utter contempt and disgust, unable to fathom what that boy be thinking. Nevertheless, not wanting to escalate the situation even more, Ro decides to just nope out of the situation and leaves to go to his room whilst revealing to Soyeon that it was Miso who asked him to do a massage in the first place. But as our boy walks out of the living room, Soyeon does the unthinkable by squeezing her G-yats together like she's trying to do the watermelon squashing challenge before looking at Sun Hu with very sussy eyes. Fast forward to later on in the night, while Bro was busy playing Roblox, Soyeon comes out of nowhere and instantly barges into Sun Hu's room before yelling at him that he should at least note what he did is absolutely wrong. After finding out that Bro is also a dough fruit spammer even though there has not been an update in almost a year, she claps him straight to the ground while showing off her legendary double deckers. The sussy turn tables then turn when Soyeon does the patented girl technique of brushing her hair behind her ears, so you know things are about to get real especially when she took our boy's hand and placed it on her twin pyramids of Giza. To be fair to our boy though, he had no choice in her sussy fire nation attack as he was too busy trying to contain his dragon from awakening down below. Now with Sun Hu falling for Soyeon's trap card no one saw coming from a mile away, Soyeon continues to bring him closer, while silently whispering how this is something he might not be able to do again, so he better put both hands on deck. However, after one entire minute of holding onto Soyeon's super soft pillow like it's charming, Bro actually snapped back to reality and pulled away while ordering her to stop as this joke is going too far. At this point, Soyeon took it personally after hearing our boy think this is all just a joke to him, as such, she flashes him the most mean mugging Sharingan she could ever muster if there is no way this dude is serious right now. She then quickly whipped her hair right round right round like Flo Rai Da, and upon the sussy turntables turning again, Soyeon pulled out another trap card, but this time she literally removed her fully enhanced diamond plated pants in front of our boy. With her leg armor fully vanishing like my silent farts, Soyeon turns back around after giving a glimpse of her hole in one golf course to Sun Hu, where she then proceeded to hand our boy a used pair of captain underpants. Bro is then left speechless again so he tries pinching himself awake to make sure he is not dreaming right now, but much to his surprise Bro found himself 100% living in reality, where he even hears Soyeon ordering him to use her present as a nighttime ritual. Upon being told to use it as content when he tries to soul of his own dragon boss down below every night, she ends up making him an offer where she will try her best to help him out as long as our boy does not become a sussy baker with Miso. 
It's then revealed that Miso has recently debuted as a K-pop idol just a few months ago. And so far, she's already more of a big hit compared to New Jeans, amassing large amounts of simps in record time, so Big Sister is only trying to protect her image. Regardless, Soyeon marches out of the room like an absolute Stacy with literally no armor protecting anything down below, whilst telling our boy to make sure to always use her present and every night he needs to bring it back to her for inspection. Initially, Bro was secretly totally in love with what was unraveling before him, but when he heard she wanted a nightly inspection, Sun Hu tries to back out of the deal since he thinks he does not have it in him. With him now wanting to refuse the sussy offer, Soyoung stops in her tracks to flash a smile at our boy, telling him that if he does not want to go through with her plan, then she will just tell Shin Hye everything about him and his wrongful tendencies around Miso. So with our boy's hand forced to accept the deal, Bro waits for Soyoung to leave his room before upholding his end of the bargain where he decides to search up Soyoung on Google Images to help him do some explosion jutsu. Nevertheless, upon using the power of his imagination in combination with all the pictures circulating online about the famous pro golfer, his volcano explodes on Soyoung's present, so he goes to deliver the package right next door to his room. Suddenly, as Soyoung's door swings wide open like my popping swing, Bro gets instantly yanked inside her room like an absolute ragdoll before she swiftly closes and locks her door like a master ninja whilst doing the hush-hush sign. She then forces Sun Hu to sit down against her door using only one hand while urging him to stay still and as quiet as he can be, since it is already late at night so it would be a lot trouble if either of them got caught doing anything sussy right now. Shortly after putting our boy in his place, Soyeon quickly inspects her present where she then finds herself quite pleased with the results of Sun Hu's explosion jutsu on it as it now totally soaks, so she begins gap closing the distance between them. Upon getting up close to the point where they can smell each other's day old breath, she plops down her fertile farm build plot on his roaring dragon cage while pushing our boy more to the ground allowing him to experience more of her direct contact. Nonetheless, Soyoung stared into our boy's soul while pausing for a couple minutes to make sure Bro really felt the presence of her special treasure cove on his awakened dragon fruit, reminding him to stay away from precious Miso. Fast forward to the next morning after his sussy encounter last night, Bro tries to avoid Miso to the best of his abilities the entire morning, but there was nothing he could do as she abruptly ganked him out of nowhere. Bro is then forced to sit there as she continued to yap to him about her idle life, but the entire time she was talking to him, his mind was elsewhere as he did not want to accidentally get caught looking like he's trying to pull a quick one on her. Eventually, she ends up pestering our boy for a massage and upon hearing her ask, his warning bells in his head began to ring so Bro tries to note out of the situation quickly only for Miso to gaslight him by telling him literally every sibling does this. As such, Bro actually goes to do it as a favor since he does not want to see Miso cry, but then the sussy turntables turned again when she began to make some very awkward noises while profusely blushing so I do not think this family is any way normal. Our boy then continues on and tries to ignore Miso trying to be a sussy backa, but then things get way too noisy for him especially when Miso started to sound like one of those voice actresses in very cultured anime causing him to call her out for it. But when Bro tries to order her to stop being a sussy Becca whilst lecturing her to be more like a normal person, our boy accidentally slips into the sussy dimension and locks onto her treasure cove which instantly reminds him of his crazy dreams about Shinny. However, Bro stared too long at Miss Precious causing him to forget about his massaging powers as he accidentally lost track of time which resulted in Sun Hu receiving a quick kick to his face due to Miso being unable to handle his powers. Luckily for him though, even when he was caught in 4K staring directly at the forbidden palace in front of him, Miso did not mind at all forcing him to think about his life more carefully as he feels as if he is turning into a deranged man. After realizing that he is transforming into one of those people he feared the most on the internet, which is the super sussy kind, Bro decided to try and change his life around non-Alabama style so he began to avoid Miso over the next few weeks. Meanwhile, Sun Hu continued to go along with Soyeon's deal since he did not want to chance Soyeon getting him kicked out of the house, but things have started to get out of hand as she had been delivering him personal pictures for use. Regardless, after two weeks of outright ignoring Miso, she ended up taking the matters into her own hands by abruptly ganking him, where she furiously confronted him at midnight, but Bro was not ready for it, as he was busy using Soyam's present. She then berated him for ignoring all her texts, calls, yapping, and literally anything she could think of, but then her face instantly turned upside down when she noticed what was in our boy's left hand since Bro forgot to hide the evidence. After getting called out for having a girl's undies in his hand, our boy freezes like someone said Spanish or English to him, whilst trying his best to act like he has no idea what she is talking about so Miso gets even more mad at him when he tries to play it off. 
Eventually, she has enough from his antics and proceeds to try and snatch the aforementioned item from his hand since things are not going anywhere, but Bro tries his best to defend himself from the ganking Miso. For some reason though, as the two fight over Soyeon's present without Miso yet figuring out which lucky girl owned her brother's sussy item, they somehow end up tumbling on top of each other like an episode of Looney Tunes so it looks like things are not going according to plan. To make matters worse for Sun Hu, Bro watched Mizo's eyes slowly drift downwards and caught her staring at something down below so upon finding out what she was looking at, he realized his banana tree poked through his armor. With our boy's fully awakened dragon fruit now out in the open, both of them quickly shuffle back into a more normal position as Sun Hu tries his to make an excuse about the phenomenon happening to his bloodstream underneath. However, a few seconds later, the two end up finding themselves sitting upright against a wall, while Sun Hu reluctantly holds onto the youngest member of the family just so they could talk about their childhoods together. Clearly, our boy's banana tree plantation will not go back to its sproutling form in this position, but at least Miso will not make direct eye contact with it anymore, so she ends up confronting Sun Hu again as to why he keeps ignoring her even though she never did anything wrong. After hearing her frustratingly talk about how much she hates it when one of the closest people ever in her life decide to act like she does not exist, Bro spills the beans and tells her how much he likes and adores her. Our boy then tries to tell to her that this is all just a misunderstanding that he cannot really explain well, so upon hearing that Miso quickly turns to face our boy to ask him if he would like to watch a movie, then if he really meant it. So now stuck in another sticky situation and with Sun Hu not wanting to lose his super close relationship to him. Ro agrees to watch whatever she wants causing Miso to joyfully stand back up but Sun Hu quickly averts his gaze when her bakery became eye level. Nevertheless, fast forward to the next day, our boy gets baited into watching actual rice cake destroying at a nearby movie theater, where Miso is found thoroughly enjoying and following along like a true sussy backa. Midway through the very uncomfortable movie, the sussy turned tables turns even more when she began telling our boy that this feels very much like a movie date, while trying her hardest to get Sun Hu to agree that it does feel like it. Eventually, Bro agrees and after finishing up the movie with literally no one else watching, they both exit the auditorium together, where Miso teases our boy by claiming that there was no way he would ever watch something like that by himself, so he better thank her. After all these not-so-subtle hints come flying out from Miso, Bro ends up telling himself he can keep everything a secret. 